Hi right guys, Jake Bullet here. Uh, just a quick update for you. I've uh, just received my Linux compatible Bluetooth dongle. Um, I've done the firmware update on the XDA, XDA forums. So a big thanks for, uh, for doing that for us. And that now gives us access to Bluetooth. Um, I've already fitted my Bluetooth in. I haven't got my four port adapter yet, so I've just put it in in place of the Wi-Fi dongle just for the time being, just to just to demonstrate it. Um, I put it in. You can, I don't I suppose you can see that there, just up in the top right corner. It's now got the Bluetooth display. Um, paired it using Bluetooth Lite, a free app, and then. I went into talk. I've just got the free version on here at the moment, so I've only just set it up a couple of minutes ago, so I've not had much chance to um, configure the dials or get it just the way I wanted, but uh, this is just to give you an idea. Uh, so there we are, looks pretty good. Uh, you can set up loads and loads of different parameters. I've just got a few basics on there. There's different screens that you can uh, scroll through to and just have the dials whatever size you want. Um, however many dials you want, you can have graphs, these round dials, um, the, the square type ones, uh, either displaying digital information or graphs. I've got graphs for acceleration and X and Y axis there, turbo boost, just a speed there and coolant which a lot of people uh, want on the AMROC uh, and then I've got the voltage. Uh, so yeah, like I say, well, I've only just briefly set it up, but uh, you can just see revving the engine, you can just see the boost changing, the voltage is obviously changing a little bit as it gets a bit more uh, charge, and the coolant. Um, just knock that off a second. I don't know whether you can see whether the graphs are going to change there. I presume, I think they work off the GPS, so I'm I'm not going to drive around with the camera anyway, but uh, I'll, I'll see what they look like when I get uh, when I get mobile later on. Just trying to get into the shade here because it doesn't display all that well. So yeah, there it is. Everything working fine. Um, that's the Bluetooth unit just down there. They're quite big and bulky those. I, I think there was a small one that you can get, um, but it seems pretty much out of the way. I don't know whether I'll catch my foot on it down in the footwell there. Um, the Bluetooth dongle is obviously under there for the time being. Um, four port hub is on the way, so I'll reconnect the Wi Fi dongle. Uh, there we go. Um, nothing much else to report on here. Still got the auxiliary set up there. So when I select reverse gear, I knock the display off. I've got the image on the camera at the back, and it's a nice, nice clear image. Little, a few little lines on it, but it's, uh, it's not bad really. Uh, so that'll be handy. You can just about see the top of my tow bar in the bottom of the screen, that little black thing. So that'll be great for uh, looking up to the caravan. Um, what else? Not much else to re to report. Uh, just to show you, I have a. Do a bit of it's a hobby called geocaching, and we go out using a GPS and looking for little treasure boxes dotted around the country. I've got an app on here that uh, shows you Ordnance Survey maps, which is uh, really good if you're. A, I think it's only for the UK really, but um, gives you all the footpaths and all the other information and the location of geocaches. Uh, just gets you to within the area. Um, and my navigation, I've got it set up for uh, on the navi button now, and I'm using Copilot. Uh, I've used that for a number of years, and uh, I find it really, really good. Uh, so that's that. Oh, the other thing um, that I mentioned to get access to the extra features. In the settings, if I can find it, 
general extra settings there at the bottom you can just type in the code one two three four five six and that will give you access to um, a few other bits and pieces uh, the only one I've really adjusted on there is the fan start temperature because the fan on this unit is more or less running all the time I don't really think it needs it if um, so I'll, I'm hoping I'm not going to cause it any damage but uh, I, I've more or less just turned it off it might come back in what have I got it on fan start temperature I've got it on the low setting so if it gets too hot hopefully it will kick in then um, you don't really notice it when you're driving it's only if, you, if you're stationary that you sometimes just hear the fan but it's, it's not that loud I've turned that off there you can select your auxiliary inputs I haven't done anything with that TV mode you can change your logo if you've got a different uh, if you're in a Skoda or whatever Toyota um, I don't know what the brake setting does oh yeah the brake setting I think that stops you being able to watch TV or whatever on the move so you can turn that off if you, if you like um, and I haven't adjusted anything else so that's just a bit of information about that um, and that's it so there you go I'll catch you later Try out.